So underneath my center console is a complete mess right now. Definitely need to organize it a bit better. Luckily, Jada reached out to me and they've got this new underneath the center console tray. They're call it, calling it the Jada tray. And this will kind of help keep things a little bit more organized underneath there. So let's get it unboxed and kind of check out the features of this before we install it in the car. So you can see on the side there, it says the Jada tray. And there we go. So this is gonna go underneath the center console if you've got the old version of the Model 3. So couple features here to check out. Um, so it's gonna sit in the console like this, and then you've got a little extra hidden compartment right here, which you'll probably see a little better once it's in the car. Um, and then we've got this little part right here. So I've already got the Jada dock installed in my car. So this will connect right here. And then this other part will connect in the Jada dock that's already in my car. And what this does is turns this into a wireless charger. So if you've got an Apple Watch or any kind of small device like that that can sit on here, uh, it will charge that for you inside the car. So you've got your normal wireless charger and you've also got this wireless charger right here. Right away I'm realizing this build quality is really good. You've got the plastic exterior, but this is all metal on top here. So if you're throwing things in here, it's not gonna get broken or scratched as easily as plastic might. Um, so that is really nice. And then you've got this soft touch material in here as well. So you don't have to worry about scratching any items you might put in here, any kind of cases or anything like that you might put down in here. So. Let's head out to the car and install this and see what it looks like inside the car. Okay, we are inside the car now. I'll show you kind of what my setup is like right now. I've already got the Jada wireless charger installed right here. I've got this tray from some other third party. I can't remember what it is. I use this for actually cleaning my screen off. So that usually just sits on top of the organizer. And down in here, as you can see, it's pretty crowded. I've got a lot of just kind of random wires and stuff down here. I've got this for like recording videos inside my car with my phone, a couple other random wires and stuff. I don't keep much in my car. Um, and I've also got this random uh, cord as well for my solid state drive, which we'll see in a second here. So if you lift this up, you can kind of get a better view of the Jada tray. I'll zoom in a little bit. On the back plate here is the Jada hub, which kind of brings everything together and the wireless charger is plugged in there. But let's go ahead and get this part installed, which is very easy. It just kind of slides into place. As you can see, this kind of sits up a little bit higher than you'd probably expect. And that's because there's this hidden area underneath here. So we are going to cover that up. But if there's any kind of like hidden items or more kind of sensitive stuff you want to keep hidden in your car, if somebody were to, I think this goes the other way. There we go. So if there's any kind of hidden stuff, maybe you've got a coveted Hot Wheels you wanna hide down there, you can actually stick that down inside of here and hide it from view <laughs> down, down below there. So we've got the Jada tray installed now. Now the other part is this powered area right here and they provide this nice little cord here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in as well and we'll check that out. That just plugs right into the Jada tray and you can see it's green, which means it's on. What that does is makes this little circle right here a wireless charger. So a lot of people use that for their Apple Watch. It fits in there perfectly. Uh, so this little pad is wireless charging here as well, which I don't think mine actually fit down in there as well because they're too large. But if you've got AirPods, or an Apple Watch, you can wireless charge both of those in these spots right here. Fortunately, I don't have either of those, so I can't test that out right now, um, but you're gonna have to take my word for it on this one. And let's actually, to kind of get a little bit more organized here, I like having these extra cords because I actually use this for connecting the solid state drive for Tesla cam and sentry mode. I like having that on hand, but I can actually get those out of the way now with this little extra console area down here. And then I've got just a wired USB-C cord as well for my phone if I need to charge up a little bit faster than the wireless charger. So, and we'll put this splitter down here as well, just in case I need it for any reason. 
But now all those cords are down out of the way and I've got a lot more room to put stuff there now. So if I do want to keep my, my headphones down here, I can do that. So here is the center console all closed up. We've got the Jada wireless pad right here for wireless charging your phone, which I can show you right now actually. We'll wireless charge your phone. And then down below, we've got the Jada tray right there with a little hidden compartment in here where I'm keeping all of my wires stored so they're out of the way. And if we lift this part up, we can see the whole system down here. So you see the Jada hub is at the back there and all of that connects into that. That's kind of brings everything together. And then if I do want to access my SSD, if I want to get any kind of files off of that, I can just pop this off right here. This is magnetic, so I can just remove that like that. That pops open where my solid state drive is if I want to get any files off of that. So really nice. They thought about a lot of things here, about a lot of like practicality of using this. Um, so that all closes back up and then that just magnetically attaches right there and we're good to go. So I think this product is definitely best if you're in the Apple ecosystem. Obviously you have the Apple Watch charging and uh, AirPods charging right there. So if you've got those products, definitely something to check out. Um, or if you just wanna organize your space a little better and have that extra hidden compartment right there, definitely something to check out. So big thank you to Jada for sending out this tray to check out. I think they did a really good job with it and thought about a lot of smart things in the design of this product. Like I said, definitely recommend if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you've got an Apple Watch, you've got AirPods and wanna have an extra place to charge them in your car, um, definitely something to check out. If you wanna check out the Jada Tray or any of the other products, I've got all the ones I'm using in my car linked down below as well as my affiliate code if you want to pick up one of these for your own car. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, thank you to Jada for sending this out, and I will see you in the next video.